And next we have Raise, the Completionist Chronicles, book number four, written by Dakota Kraut. It is 295 pages. It is $4.99. It is available on Kindle Limited. Here's the author's description. Humanity on the run. Desperate base building. Dark deeds done during daylight. I think the author is just messing with me at this point. Okay. Um, Joe has started to draw attention to himself and his abilities. While some of the intention is good and allows for personal growth, most of it is from various organizations that feel threatened by the sudden upswing of power that Joe's guild, the Wanderers, are attaining. As the threat to Earth begins to reach its peak, all of humanity has a choice. Fully to Eternium, or stay for an uncertain future. Some stay, some go, some don't make the choice quickly enough. In Ard Ardania, the human kingdom is seeing an unprecedented influx of people. Supply and demand is an issue no matter where you go, as a civilization of a few million can't prepare to accept an eighth of Earth's inhabits at once. Joe sets out to solve problems where he can't, but he can't be there for everyone, especially when a group of smiling enforcers are working to bring him down. So there we go. Uh, full disclosure, I received a man's copy for review. I purchased a copy when it became available. Okay, this this I'm always, I'm a big fan of this series. I'm a big fan of the writer in person in, in particular. Um, but this is a this is always kind of this fun series. Action's always good. I've loved the crafting aspects of the story, the ritual stuff, the smart, intelligent magic system that's here. Um, and this novel is no different. Um, from start to finish, there are just so many little moments that made me chuckle and smile. I can't. I never have a bad night with the series or with anything really the author's written. Um, there are a few notes in this particular entry into the series that I thought, oh, this is slightly not an issue, but like, oh, this is a, a point of like, oh, this didn't quite make sense to my brain. And I'm going to mention them just quickly, but there weren't really issues. Um, early parts of the story felt a little bit disconnected from some of, and some of the real stuff doesn't really make sense um, in the context of the story quite yet. Um, and it may never make sense. I think for me, I kind of had to compile it with the events of the end of the Divine Nathan series to make real sense in my brain. I was like, why this is suddenly a thing. I, I, I'm on, 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 on a writing, I, I totally make sense as far as like, oh, this is the next arc in the Completion's Chron Chronicle series. So they need a big event. They need this big motivation to justify the sudden change in population. And that's going to be a thing for the series. But in book in the in book four of the series, it um it doesn't feel as important and as connected to the rest of the series as I thought it should have. Um and again it's mine super minor complaint. It didn't ruin this random way shape or form. I brought it down like a little tiniest bit in the beginning for me, but all the things you love about the series are still and serve very enjoyable. It's great sense of humor, great puns everywhere. Um, sometimes I think the author just, he starts his, his stories out with what's a good pun and then writes around that. Uh, he has a really good pun there and he writes the entire story around that sometimes. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if that's actually the case. Um, but I've always enjoyed this. This, the story is, is still very slice of life. Um, and there's a lot of good action adventure. There's lots of good quests that goes on. Um, and, and, and all the crafting stuff and ritual stuff. It's still here. It's very enjoyable. Um, I personally, again, I always really like how, <laughs> uh, detail oriented the, uh, the author is in, in, in making his systems, um, believable and in detail enough that you can kind of see the magical theory there uh, and how it's based on real science and real logic. Um, and I just always, always appreciate that because I know how much of a hassle and how much of an effort that takes to be so thorough. And I always appreciate it personally. Um, also there's some funny characters. I personally love the coffee elemental in the novel. It's a site where that exists, but I can't believe nobody's ever thought of it before. And I, I think it's such an adorable character who, who's like, whose like line is like, Oh, drink me. I'm delicious. And it actually wants to be drank because that's its purpose in life. It's, it's a coffee elemental. And I can absolutely see this character as like a plushie. It's so adorable in the novel. Um, and I kind of want my own coffee elemental just so I have fresh, delicious coffee every morning. That's infinitely repeatable basically. Um, but like I said, overall, I had a good time with the story. 
minor tiny things at the beginning of the story that are just i think there might be setups for and explained in other parts of the series as it continues on but they were a little disconnected for me um but other than that, just everything else is a really great uh really good i should say um get done with the entire story that's and that's kind of the best thing i can say about it um raise the completion chronicles book number four good time with it solid score of 7.5 out of 10 um not the best book in the series for me but again still absolutely enjoyable um with the, again that's raised the completion chronicles book number four with a score of 7.5 out of 10